Good day and welcome, my name is Mr. Ben. Today we're gonna to be going through another photo plea tutorial. Today, as the title suggests, we're gonna be going through some teeth whitening. Now there's a couple ways to go about this. There's a wrong way from the way I see it and a correct way. And today we're gonna to be go showing you both of those. So that way you kind of know, hey, this is the wrong way and hey, this is the right way. Firstly, we're gonna open up Photo P. Photo P is our free online editor, um, free online Photoshop, more or less and we're gonna drag in our image. So I'm just gonna drag in this image for our demo. This is one we're gonna be using for this. I'm gonna tag this in the video and you'll see this in the section below. Uh, once we've got our image in here, we're going to end up grabbing the zoom tool. The zoom tool grabbed, that's on our bottom left-hand corner. We're just gonna zoom into our teeth. Once we've zoomed into our teeth, we're gonna go up and we're gonna grab the lasso tool. This is gonna help us select the teeth as we're going through. This doesn't have to be super precise. You don't wanna be grabbing the whole center of the face. You still wanna be grabbing within the, the mouth, but you're just gonna click and hold and kind of grab those teeth as we're kind of going through. Boom, boom, boom. Kind of grabbed all those. And then kind of going down, grabbing the rest. Again, if you're not perfect and you grab some of those gums, that's totally cool. Um, now that we have those grabbed, I know that I'm gonna to need to move this face. Um, so I'm just gonna zoom it out a bit so that way we can kind of see everything that's going on and I'm gonna move the face a little bit more to the left of my screen. So that way we can see this when my new menu opens up. So we've got our teeth selected. We've used that lasso select tool. What we're gonna go do is we're gonna select a uh, new adjustment layer and we're gonna go up to hue and saturation. Once we click on that, we're gonna see that we've got it set up in a range and it's gonna start off selected in master. So with this selected in master, this is something that I see many people do wrong because they just hop in here and they drop the saturation down a little bit. They might adjust the lightness a little bit. And you can see it's made those teeth look really gray and really white. Um, if that's the look you're going for, by all means, this is how you'll achieve that. But you have to be really precise to only grab the teeth. Uh, so it might take you a little bit of time. You'll have to be zoomed in and slowly trace that, um, which just to me seems like a lot more work than you really want to do. And the other way around this will save you a bunch of that time and a bunch of that work. So this isn't the way we want to go about this. Again, we've altered the colors of those gums and that's not what we want. Instead, this range selector, we're going to go down to yellow. This is now going to grab the yellow pigments within the area that we've selected and that's what we're going to be adjusting. This will give us a lot more of a natural look. You'll see as I drop this saturation level down, those teeth become a lot whiter. They become a lot more vibrant. They look a little bit more natural. If I drag it all the way to the bottom, they look a little gray. So I'm just gonna find a nice little area in the middle. And then I'm also gonna increase our lightness just to give it a little bit more of that pearly sensation. Awesome. And then I'm just going to close this menu because I'm happy with where this is currently sitting. And then I'm gonna zoom out so we can see our final result. So with our image now there, you can see that there is a massive difference between what it used to look like. And in case you're like, I don't really remember what it used to look like. That was so long ago. No worries. If we turn this off, that'll turn off our hue and saturation layer. So you can see that previous yellow teeth to our turned on new vibrant, new bright. And you can see it really didn't adjust any of those colors in the gums really just adjusted those teeth because we selected the proper stuff we selected that yellow in the master now this is how we do this this is how you create this in photo p pretty straightforward pretty easy pretty quick when you're going through and you're creating something or you're just altering the colors just to make the teeth a little bit more white a little bit more vibrant uh, just to make it stand out make things a little bit nicer that's it for our tutorial today i hope that you enjoyed i hope that you learned something Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.